Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today we're starting the day off with the most insane morning beverage of all time, I think. It could turn out actually really gross, but I have high hopes. Here's the morning lineup. Pumpkin spice cake and espresso pod, non-dairy oat beverage maple flavor, brown sugar creamer, and then to top it off, the maple vanilla whipped cream. <gasps> Wait a second, I forgot about you. Oh, I mean, this only feels right. Okay, so I have some brown sugar in here and I'm gonna froth up the maple beverage with that. But I feel like I just have to try a sip on its own. I'm so excited. I'm just so curious. Like, I feel like I've seen this so many times, but I've never tried it. Somebody responded to my Instagram story saying that it sucks. So, it smells phenomenal. Okay, I'm just gonna try it right out of the carton because I live alone, no one else is trying this. That's delicious. I don't get it. Anyways, we have that frothing and now let's make our coffee. Stunning. I mean, that looks, this is a treat for the morning. This is a way to start the day. <coughs> Currently 9.02, the coffee's delicious. It's actually not overly sweet, despite all the things that I put in there. I just put like a little splash of the milk and the cream. I feel like you can tell by the color. It's not that heavy. Today marks week three of my running program. Kind of excited about that. But I'm gonna have breakfast before my run actually. I don't think I've been doing that and my body's pretty sore from my spin class on Sunday that I feel like a little extra fuel would be helpful. So, we're having these egg bites. Also gonna have half an avocado with that that I'm gonna dice up once I have two hands. And sriracha. Here we have breakfast, the cutest coffee in the world. We're gonna have our breakfast to start the day and then I'm actually gonna work on TikToks for an hour while this like digests a little bit. For October, I have a goal of posting every other day on TikTok, at least. Like if I can get every day, I'm gonna do that, but the goal is every other day. That's more maintainable, I think. So I'm gonna work on TikToks for an hour and then I'm gonna go do my run and then I'm gonna bring everything up to the office and grind it out today. I was out all day in Buffalo, so I didn't get any work done yesterday. I was obviously shooting content, but it's more so the editing that I consider work. So it's gonna be a good day. And then tonight, Sarah and I are going to an event that seems really cool. Mm. Welcome to week three, episode one of You Can Run. That was a good one. Learned all about cadence. Success. Feeling fantastic. Fresh and clean. I'm gonna have to fix my hair later, but that is a later problem. Current me is going to have a little protein shake. Today's run was good. Learned all about cadence, which is apparently very important. It's like I'm learning a lot of the basics when it comes to running so that I guess they can gear us up to running properly, you know, which is obviously important. Especially as somebody that really has never run, like I am learning all of the essential basic shit right now. While still running and like, I guess, somehow building up endurance. I don't think I can really say I'm a runner yet. <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna start really picking up. Like I still can't imagine being able to run 30 minutes straight without, you know, like dying. Can't really imagine that happening in a month from now. Like in five weeks from today, I just don't see it. But I kind of trust it. Like it's Peloton. I don't think they would make a claim like that if they weren't going to get you there. But it just seems very like gradual. I don't feel intimidated by any of the classes yet, which is good. Like my dad's motto is always stay hungry. Do enough, but don't push yourself too hard. It's obviously important to push yourself, but not to the point where you won't want to keep going. And that's something that I've always struggled with. Like I will go in too big or with too high of a goal, too high of an expectation of myself where inevitably like I can't keep up with it and then I don't want to keep up with it and then I stop. So far feeling very motivated to keep going. It feels manageable to me. I mean, twice a week is manageable for most people, I think. Obviously dependent on what's going on in your life. Cheers. That could be shaking a little bit more. And then throwing in the spin class is just an extra bonus. And I'm really liking where I'm at right now. I just posted the vlog talking about my two shitty dating experiences. And you know, at the time when I was feeling real low, I didn't understand why. Like I just hate the lows. They're inevitable, obviously. Like we all go through them, but they are so shitty. But then when you see the tiniest little sliver of light at the end of that dark tunnel, it starts to make sense. Like everything that I've gone through in my life that has been difficult always pushes me to level myself up in some way changes depending on what it is and what I need at the time, like what I'm going through. My confidence was shaken <laughs> after a couple of dating experiences. So now I'm super freaking driven 
to become the best version of myself that I always have known that I can be, but I keep falling off because I'm just, I have a hard time sticking to things that are a little bit more difficult, you know, like a routine or, or working out, like things like that that are just easier to fall off of because they're not your natural, like I've never been that person, you know? So it's easy to just retreat back to who you used to be, like the ways that you used to live your life. But if you have the right amount of motivation and you can push yourself to outgrow that and like try to actually sustain something new, then you become a different version of yourself. I don't, I don't know. I have said this before, I've done it, but it kind of feels different this time, I don't know. And who knows, you know, it's definitely possible that I fall off, but I don't really think I'm going to. I feel very inspired and not because of a guy. It was after like looking inwards at myself and why I was feeling so bad about a guy I went on three dates with. Why did I let that guy make me feel so low about myself? It's not about the guy, it's not about what happened. I had to like really think inwards about what was going on with myself. And now I'm working on building myself to a place where nobody can shake my confidence because I know who I am and I'm confident in what I'm becoming. And fitness has always been one thing that I've just never been super confident in because I've never really had a routine or anything that I've enjoyed. And whether or not I fall off one day, the way that I feel right now about myself, I am proud. I'm proud of just like the progress and the steps that I am taking right now to hopefully get to a place where this is just who I am and this isn't like a phase that I'm going through or, you know, eight weeks of trying to do something or a month of trying to do something. Like I'm actually gonna stick to it and it ends up being the lifestyle that I live, not just a phase. Anyways, this is delicious. The crazy thing about having this, the 30 grams of protein and it tastes like I'm just having a, like a vanilla milkshake. I love that. Vitamins have been taken, protein being consumed, and now I'm going to be productive on the computer upstairs. 4.30 now, I have a couple of these little cookies. I was just downstairs snacking on dip and crackers, and then I was like, you know what? Let's take a couple cookies upstairs. Mmm, so good. But it's time to get ready. I forget if I said what I was doing tonight. I'm going to a fashion show that is in support of breast cancer awareness. There's like 20 different designers that have designed outfits with cashmere like, like toilet paper. It should be a really cool event. So it starts at 6 and then the show is at 7.30. It's at the Breathworks. So I think the venue is going to be really stunning. I'm really excited to see it. I also love that it's kind of early. So I should be home early as well. Not entirely sure what I'm wearing at all. Not even the slightest clue but just quickly getting ready and then i'm gonna figure out my outfit and then i should be good to go i'm trying to get ready well in advance so that i don't have to stress and i don't do it last minute <laughs> because as we know that would be my norm and i hate when i do that <laughs> i'm also gonna have my other cookie oh wing is so much bigger than the other one that's better We're gonna try a new mascara today. I'm gonna try the Rare Beauty mascara. Mascara is my favorite thing, if you know, you know. So let's see how I like this one. So far, I'm not obsessed. Well, actually, I feel like it's just more dry than I usually go for, but it's seemingly buildable. And my lashes are definitely separated. Not bad. I've been using the Bite Beauty one, and I love that one. It's a very wet formula, which I like. So. Hello, Madison. Hello, how are you? Where's your head? Tell me everything. It is so funny, the advice you give your friends that really you should give to yourself. I'm ready. Hold on. I think I'm gonna wear these. I really hope these don't ruin my feet. It's always scary wearing a new pair of heels out for the first time. Like, are these gonna be fine? They feel fine. One thing about being single is you gotta talk to the single girlfriends. Having single friends as a single person is the only way. <laughs> it appears that we're all going through it. We're all going through with the men. The men are just shit. They're just shit these days. I know there have to be some good ones out there. It just seems like it's obvious, right? Like, there's no way there's not a single good, decent guy left. But quite honestly, I'm not making that my problem from this point on I my last day that I went on he was fine but he was a no you know like nothing wrong with him just no vibe and I told myself after that one taking a hard break and I'm truly focusing on myself again because when I focus on me and I don't even think about dating I thrive I thrive and so that's my plan from this point on 
I'm looking great, I'm feeling great. And we're not worrying about men. Someone decent will come through when the time is right and I'm no longer worrying about it. Not gonna be my problem. But it does make you feel better knowing that you're not the only one going through it, which is why I decided to talk about it here. It's obviously hard to be vulnerable on the internet, but for the sake of everybody and all of the single girlies, we share. Calling my Uber in one minute, really hoping for the best of these shoes. They feel like they'd be comfy, like I can hang. Although I feel like already my pinky toe is feeling a little squished in there. So maybe I bring a band-aid. The longer that I wear these, the more that I'm starting to doubt them. I'm gonna ruin my feet. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't wear them. I'm second guessing it. They look great, like they're sick, and I will wear them eventually. But I feel like I gotta go with a security blanket for this evening. <laughs> I thought for sure I was gonna be home before nine, but it is 10 o'clock. That was such an awesome event. It actually kind of made me like wanna go to more shows. I just think it's so incredible to see. The talent is insane. The fact that all of those, all of those designs were made out of bath tissue. Like that's insane. Such a fun night. We did get some goodie bags. I got more toilet paper and paper towel. Oh, what else do we, ooh, wait, we got Dr. Teal's. This is my favorite. Lavender salt and bath foam. I use this all the time. Then we got some Scotty's tissues. Sponge toffee from Farm Boy. Mm, I'm sure this is delicious. More tissues, a face mask. Two cans of Perrier, raspberry and ginger lime. Body lotion. And last but not least, we have a vitamin C cream. Such a great night, great Tuesday. Tomorrow's gonna be pretty chill. Nice cozy night in, which I'm looking forward to, as well as lunch with Rachel. She was on a month long trip, so she's back now, and I'm really excited to catch up. But I'm going to take off my makeup and crawl right into bed and read my book, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. My kitchen is such a mess. High priority today. I gotta clean it, especially like I'm having a cozy night in. I don't wanna have a cozy night and look at my clutter. 
it's a disaster. It's a disaster. You don't even want to see it. But this morning, we're trying another coffee recipe for a brilliant Trader Joe's coffee. I'm going to try the uh, pumpkin oat beverage today instead of the maple. And then I'm thinking, this might be like a weird flavor combo. I don't know. I might have to stick to the brown sugar. Because I know that's like safe with the fall flavors. But I really want to try the creme brulee creamer. Maybe I should just smell it so I understand what the flavor is going to be like. Maybe I'll just taste it. Straight sugar to the system to start the day. I'm gonna take a sip. It tastes exactly like the brown sugar. I would say pretty exact. Anyways, I'm just gonna use the brown sugar and get through that one so that I can start going through this. I didn't expect that. I don't know what I expected. And then we'll use the pumpkin spice whipped cream today. I'm really up to the coffee game. I'm having so much fun. I'm also expecting a call any minute, so. We're gonna use the pumpkin spice pod, of course. We're gonna do the same as yesterday. We're gonna froth the milk and the creamer, but maybe I should taste this first. Oh, what the fuck? That's not good. Yum. Maybe for so long, I thought that I didn't really like pumpkin flavors, but I do. I feel like this is gonna be a really good one today. It's so funny. This mug right here is what started my like mug obsession, which is so weird because it's the most basic mug you've ever seen in your entire life. Like this is as basic as it gets, but I became obsessed. I remember seeing this at Target and I was like, I need to have so many of these. They also had black ones and I have like eight of these stupid mugs. They're great. Like they're big mugs, but it's just they're so basic. Anyways, this is what made me start collecting mugs, which is really random. But look at this froth. It's like orange. Oh! This is giving fall as fuck. Wait, can I make that look like a pumpkin? Let's see. Okay. Ha! Look how cute! <laughs> Gotta clean in the office too. It's not looking the best in here. It's not. I also decided to skip the whip today. My little pumpkin on top is too cute to want to cover. Honestly, everything's kind of a mess. I just like, I need to put things in spots. Yesterday getting ready for the event, I also realized I hate everything in my closet. It's one of those times. I hate everything. Like I rewear all the same shit. <laughs> Everything that I wear is the same thing that I wear all the time. I feel like I need to do a capsule wardrobe. Like I just need to figure out how to do that in the right way. I watched so many videos on that. Like I just, ugh. But it's currently 9 a.m. So I'm going to be here in the office getting some work done for a while until lunch, actually. I think I'm gonna walk there. It's like a good hour long walk, but I wanna keep the legs moving. Maybe walk there, walk back. Is that pushing it? I don't know. Oh, let me try this. <laughs> Cheers. It's good. It's just not that sweet. Like I'm trying not to dump creamer into my coffees anymore because it's just not that good for you. Like if I had put more, it would have been insane. But it's just like a light, a light little flavoring of pumpkin and sugar. 11.30, we are gonna get ready for our lunch. I've decided I'm actually not gonna walk there and back. That's kind of, <laughs> it's a long time. I have things that I wanna do around the house. So we're just gonna walk back. It's also one of our last nice days before truly the cold weather comes in. Like it is a harsh, contrast in the weather like let me show you also, sorry to everyone that's gonna be upset that i use fahrenheit it's been like these temperatures the last four days and then look at that oh my god like that is crazy so it would just be wrong of me to not go for a wonderful walk while it's still nice and warm soak up the weather the heat so that i feel like i fully took advantage to the point where when it rains i'm going full cozy i'm actually getting really excited i've been really excited this is not new so i'm meeting rachel at impact kitchen which is a great spot that i haven't been to very often it's like a very healthy food spot which is gonna be really nice i'm somebody that loves to look at the menu beforehand so i already know what i'm getting well i'm not 100 percent sure it's between two different power bowls also jill is going to be in toronto tonight which is crazy they're stopping in toronto on their way back from their europe trip because they have a wedding this weekend which is very convenient for me so i get to see jill tomorrow i think we have plans tomorrow and friday we're gonna try another new mascara today, actually. I have this Fenty one. I might have tried this once, but I can't remember if I liked it. So we're gonna give her a whirl. Okay, I like this better than the Rare Beauty one, I think, already. Actually, this is really nice. I don't think I've tried anything from Fenty that I don't like. The products are fantastic. I don't know how I got on the Fenty PR list, but I am so thankful. Yeah, that is a nice mascara. Like, that looks great. The Rare Beauty one also looked good, but... I would say this one looks better. I should have done like one eye each. Maybe I'll do that another time. But this I think is still the current favorite. I will link this and this down below because I think they're both worth it. We'll do one more coat. Holy hell. I mean, yeah, that's pretty fucked up in the best way. Little eyebrows and then we're done. 
then now I gotta get dressed. Okay, we are heading out in like two minutes. My Uber is on its way. Let me clear out my purse. I have all these <laughs> mint chocolates from Olive Garden in here. It's just so good. AirPods for my walk back. Wallet, even though I use Apple Pay for literally everything. I think I'm also gonna stop at Farm Boy on the way back just to get a couple of essentials that I am out of. And then we're gonna come and clean. We're gonna clean the kitchen first. Like we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a big clean. It feels necessary. Like it is so hot out right now. But it looks like everything that I love. In a few days, this is going to be the vibe and I'm gonna love it. But until then, it is so <laughs> I'm actually so glad I walked back. It was just such a nice, it was a long walk, like it was an hour, but such a nice hot day. I would have felt like it was a waste, honestly, to not walk back. I also feel like I got a good amount of outside time in today, so my cozy night in is gonna feel that much better. I did go to Farm Boy because I wanted to get a couple things. I have a friend's giving tomorrow, so I picked up the dessert. Pumpkin pecan crunch pie. They were also like little tarts, but I felt like the pie would have been the better option so everyone can cut their own slice. I got a bag of avocados. Always gotta have avocados in the house. Then I got some dips. I actually didn't get any dip at Trader Joe's, which is kind of crazy, but the dip wall wasn't hitting the way that it normally does. But I got the edayami dip. It's like an edamame spicy dip. It's so good. And then I got spicy guac, as well as tzatziki. I got cottage cheese, because I need to have that in the fridge, apparently. I got a minestrone soup just as like a nice easy lunch. Pretzel crisps, the garlic parm, it's my favorite. And last but not least, I did in fact buy more chicken that I'm gonna cook up tonight. The last time I did this, it went very well. We'll see how it goes today. Here's hoping for the best, but great outing. Great lunch with Rachel. I am hot and sweaty, so I'm gonna cool off, but I gotta go to the office and get some work done because now I've been out for like, three hours, three and a half hours. I think I'm gonna have one of these poppies. Oh, which one do I want to try? We'll try this one. This is the uh, raspberry rose. I'm so excited. It just looks so cute. Like good on them for the packaging. Mmm, cheers. Yum. I should have got more of these. This is a prebiotic soda. It tastes so good. Can we buy this in Canada? Anyone know? Any Toronto girlies know? I will be savoring every sip. <laughs> Suddenly, 7.45. I was just on the phone with my grandparents, so I did tidy the kitchen. Like, it's not as bad as it was. There's definitely more cleaning to do. It's mostly just a lot of boxes that I have to break down, and I avoid breaking down boxes like nothing else. Um, So, I was gonna make my chicken tonight, but I think I'm gonna cook that for lunch tomorrow, just because that'll be past eight, and I'd rather eat before then. But the question is now, what am I gonna have? Maybe I'll make some garlic spinach before that goes bad. Garlic spinach with what is the question? I could make a pasta, like a Trader Joe's pasta, but I'm like, do I wanna have pasta? I might just do gnocchi. We are gonna make the sweet potato gnocchi. This is a classic of mine. I haven't had it in so long. So this is about to be absolutely perfect. I normally like to put kale in there too. Um, but because I don't have kale, I'm going to do spinach. But this is my favorite thing ever. I saw it with other fall themed things and I'm like, this is a classic. This is a year round, but it is giving fall. Like it's a butter sage sauce. So it's kind of perfect. I'm ready. Set two minute timer. Oops, I was supposed to do three. That's okay. Mm. See, this is nice and like super easy because it comes with the sauce. The only thing I do differently, which I say every single time, is that I add a lot more water than recommended. I just prefer it like soupy, you know? They recommend two tablespoons, which is clearly not this. Three minutes covered, three minutes uncovered. I think we have to lower. So good. Threw in a bunch of spinach and now I'm just gonna season it. That's the only thing I do with this. I add salt, garlic powder, some onion powder, some Cajun seasoning, some pepper. Sometimes things like this just like need a little extra. At least 
in my personal opinion. Everyone's got different taste buds, some cayenne, and that should do it. This is perfect. I was a little nervous that the sauce wasn't gonna thicken, but she did. It's like my comfort food, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Like, you can't tell me that doesn't look amazing. It's like saucy and creamy, and it's actually crazy. There's so much spinach in here. I just ripped it up so it's smaller, and you can't even like tell it's in there, but there's a lot. And here we are, 8.05. Nice and easy. Taking this to the couch. We're gonna throw on something. Oh, White Lotus, White Lotus. I'm on season two now. I finished season one finally. I really wanted to start season two. I think I'm like one or two episodes in because that's where my parents are right now at the White Lotus Hotel in Sicily. And I just needed to watch a couple episodes of that season so I could envision them there walking around. They get back tomorrow, but it looks like they had a wonderful time. <laughs> tonight cute <laughs> it's actually much later i don't know where the time went like i crawled into bed and i was like i'm gonna read my book i haven't even started this freaking book i meant to start it last night but then i was like you know what i'm not ready to start a new one i'm, I'm still attached to my last book and the same thing happened tonight i just like scrolled on tiktok instead of starting my book but it's 10 30 now so it's kind of late wow that's when you know you've gotten old <laughs> when 10 30 is late oh man Gone are the days where I used to be like a true night owl and it wasn't late until it was three in the morning. When I was a teenager, oh my God, now I really sound old. I was up so late and I would sleep in so late and now I just don't really like to do that. On the very odd occasion, I won't even set an alarm. Like if I have a Saturday or a Sunday where I have nothing planned, then I won't set an alarm. And even then I wake up like before 10 a.m. Like I cannot sleep in anymore anyways i'm here now we're gonna end the vlog i am going to start a new book i'm gonna have my tea turn on my lights the vibes and then lately i've been spraying my pillows with a pillow spray and that really helps me fall asleep the smell is amazing just this lavender and vanilla pillow spray from bath and body works just smelling this like it starts like my brain just starts processing okay it's bedtime we're gonna start this thing try to read for an hour and then go to sleep at like 11 30. anyways that is it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed watching it i hope all is well in your world i love you so much thank you for watching if you made it to the end comment some red emojis whatever red emoji of your choice comment them down below and i will know you made it to the end of the vlog. love you and i will see you in the next one